The term super spreader is used to describe patients who infect a large number of people. Among the first 400 or so cases of novel coronavirus, research shows the infected spread it to between two and three people. But one British businessman unknowingly contracted the disease in Singapore, then passed it on to 11 others as he travelled around Europe. Cases have been linked to him in the UK, France and Spain, and there are two big worries the number of people exposed, and international travel. A super spreader can bring pathogens from one region to another, in this case, to as many as three countries in a different continent. But the WHO has this word of caution. And I think also what is very important is to talk about super spreading events and not people, because it's not the person. It's really the circumstances and the situation that makes the transmission uh, uh, increase and not the people themselves so that uh, we avoid also some stigmatization that is really unnecessary. Now, super spreading occurs in nearly every disease outbreak. During the 2015 MERS outbreak, a single South Korean patient spread the disease to 82 people in a hospital in just three days. Yet, the reasons aren't always clear. One theory blames the immune system of the patient for releasing unusually large amounts of virus, while another says it's simply because super spreaders come into contact with far more people. Gerald Tan, CGTN, Washington.